How to write a USP or a unique selling proposition. Hey, my name is Jolanda James and I help small service-based businesses create profitable USPs that get results. And in today's show, we're going to be discussing how to write a USP or a unique selling proposition. So have you ever gotten a referral from like a past client or neighbor or family friend or uh, just a referral? And so the person comes to you and like, they are so unqualified. They're like an utter waste of your time. And after the appointment, you're like, good Lord, what about me says I could help that person? Like it's freaking annoying, right? But here's how it usually happens. It's person A will be having a conversation with person B and person A will be like, oh, do you know? Uh, and instead of saying, you know, blah, 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 they'll say, do you know like a real estate agent? And then person B, if they say anything at all, because usually like your business is not the top of their mind. Uh, but if they do remember that you're the only real estate agent they know or the last one they spoke to, then they probably will refer you. But this is like one of the worst um, kind of referrals, particularly like if you have a business that depends on referrals because it's not qualified. They're just thinking of a general title and they know a general title. So that's as far as it goes. But wouldn't it be great if you got like pre-qualified referrals, like people coming in, knowing what you do, knowing why they should work with you, and they are so much easier to convert. Because remember, referrals are the number one most trustworthy source that people use when choosing service providers and other things from the internet. So if you can get a referral and, and get that person to uh, pump you up and get their person excited about working with you, like converting that person into a customer or a client is so much easier. Wouldn't that be great if that could happen? Well, I'm gonna share with you the secret on how to get that to happen. The way that you get that to happen is you write your USP with no commas. Uh-huh, I said it. Because when people use commas, they end up crafting these really long, perfectly grammati grammatically correct um, sentences but the problem with them is they're too long and they're not memorable so if it has a comma it like stops the break in the thought process and it's too long and who's gonna remember that I mean uh, people have a lot of stuff to remember but if you don't use a comma and you streamline it people can it, it will make it easier for people to remember I remember I was like there's these these um, exercises and it's like I help and then you put the people you help and then you help you write the rest of the fill in the blank is I help them do this. And so when you craft those things, they look really amazing on paper. But when you try to say them, it's horrible. And you can imagine this because it happens when you go to like networking events and you meet people and you say, oh, so what do you do? And they must come fresh off that exercise because as soon as they go on and on and on with that long sentence, I'm just like, I don't even know what you're talking about, but uh-huh, nice to meet you. You don't wanna leave that kind of impression with people. You want to have people to be able to understand exactly what you do and who you can help and exactly the kind of people they should be referring to you. And one of the best ways to do that is when you write your USP, don't use a comma. So it's great for when you speak it to other people as well as when you put it on your website. It's a very simple, easy to grasp concept. So, you wanna know how to write your USP? Do not use commas. All right, so that's this week's video. If you have a USP that you would like me to personally review, then go to Profitable USP and I will review it and send you back some comments as well as a grade on how great I think it is. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you soon.